What's up, beat gang? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Roro, and I'm back with another cooking video, guys. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to make um, rice and peas. Um, and I got some peas that already cooked in this container. What we did, we make extra, and then we put it in um, this container right here, and um, we put it inside the freezer to freeze so we don't have to make it from scratch i'm gonna try to talk as fast as possible because i always said i don't want my cooking video to be too long and it always turn out to be long guys if you hear some noise in the background the dishwasher is um doing this thing right now and i'm also doing laundry okay so um let me show you a picture real quick so this piece that's in the container right here it's called Go Goya and I believe it's kidney um, it's red kidney um, beans and I believe it's also the dark one I'm about to show you a picture but don't mind the picture this is just um, an example if you want to use the same peas okay so this is um, this is what it look like but it should say dark on it this one is actually light um, the darker the peas is the more color you see in the rice if that makes sense so this is how it look when you go to the store and try to get it i think they we get this one from walmart um they should have it um at most of them store you can think of like walmart kroger's um uh publix and all of that stuff okay um i don't know how long the peas take to cook but um, we use the pressure cooker right here to, I don't know if you guys can see that. We use the pressure cooker right here to cook the peas and it, it cook it really fast. But this piece right here, if you want it to like cook it in a pot, you have to like put a lot of garlic, the peg, in the pot and boil it, boil it, boil it until the peas get soft. But I don't know how long it take to cook when you do it by the pot but I know in the pressure cooker you just press the bean button or whatever and 30 minutes it depends sometimes you have to do the 30 minutes two times so I don't know it depends but anyway guys I'm not trying to make a long video because all my cooking video tend to be long even though I want to show you guys step by step but today we are going to make some rice and peas so I kind of run some hot water on it so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna wash my hand real quick and um, put it in the pot because the stove is already on and then we're gonna go from there so give me one second guys I will be right back okay guys I'm back um, I'm gonna take it out the container um, the water is a little bit hot because the stove is on my hand is clean and like I said guys it's frozen so I'm just gonna put it in the hot water and then I'm gonna um, turn the stove back up on high and then I'm gonna put the, the lid on it and let it do its thing and I'm gonna wash out the container with a little bit of water guys don't mind if you can't see my head I'm just trying to show you guys step by step but let me rinse this out with some water and then put the the pot cover on the pot and then let it, let it do it it thing okay let it do it thing. so boom Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, Happy New Year, okay? So, we're gonna let the ice or whatever, because it's frozen, we just gonna let it do its thing until the peas separate from the ice. Then we're gonna start adding all of the seasoning to season the pot, and then we're gonna go from there. And this is how I make my rice and peas, okay? I'm not a big chef, so let me put that out there. I'm not a big chef so we'll be right back okay
Okay guys, I'm back. Um, so the peas is finally loose from the ice. As you can see. So now it's time to add our seasoning to flavor the pot, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna stop this re um, video real quick and then we're gonna go from there and start adding the season and all of that good stuff okay so once again guys this is how to make rice and peas my way i can cook but at the same time i'm not a big chef so give me one second guys i'm gonna um be right back and i'm gonna add my seasoning and then i'm gonna taste the water to make sure i have the perfect um what should I say? Perfect flavor. Let me put it that way. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, you can't really see my head. I know this is not about me. You know what? I'm just going to leave it like that. Because I got the camera and this little tripod. It's not really a sturdy tripod. And I don't want the camera to fall and break. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to leave it like that. But as you can see, I got all my season right here. Um, I know I said we're gonna flavor the pot and um, we're gonna taste the water just to make sure it's not too salty because you don't want it to be too salty you can always add but you can you can't take out when, once it's salty if that makes sense so if you've been watching our YouTube channel you know we always use Miss Dash and um, so far, we've been using the Maggie season. But most of the time we use a Miss Dutch, okay? And this one right here, the nature seasoning or whatever they wanna call it. So we're gonna add a little bit of each and then we're gonna taste the water to make sure it's not too salty. Hopefully you guys can hear me because the dishwasher is getting a little bit too, um, a little bit loud right now. So we're gonna start off with this one add a little bit hopefully you guys can see me <laughs> i feel like i'm doing um creative cooking <laughs> this one is almost done so just use the rest uh i'm gonna use the green one just a little bit of each you don't have to go too crazy this one is new, so give me one second, let me pull it real quick. Take the paper off, put it in the trash, put my top on. A little bit of this one. Put that over there. This one needs to be open as well. Uh, and guys, always remember, everybody cook different. Come on, let's do it the right way. I don't want a paper to go in my food. And a little bit of this one. I turned the stove down because it was making a lot of steam. That should be good. And this is garlic powder, a little bit. A garlic powder. And then we go to the big boys. These are very salty as well, so I'm not gonna put too much. I'm gonna put a little bit of this one. That should be good. Put that one over there. And a little bit of this one. So this one is um, all purpose and then the other one is just chicken and we're going to do a little bit of this one as well and then we can always add like I said guys so we're going to stir it all of this seasoning and then we're going to um, taste the water just to make sure it's, it's okay and if we need to add we're gonna add a 
I know I need to turn the stove back up, but you know what? Let me turn it up real quick because yeah, so the seasoning can cook a little bit. So you just want to stir it, stir the pot, so you can get all the seasoning even, I guess. And then you go like this, and you get some of the water. I'm using a fork, by the way, most Jamaicans like to use fork, but they say the fork make your rice shelly. <laughs> but I don't know. And then you taste some of the water, even though it's hot, you're going to taste some. You put some in your hand middle. And you taste it. Right now it still needs something. So I'm going to add some more. I'm going to add some more um, of this one right here the chicken seasoning so add some more chicken seasoning because it's fresh I don't know most most people well most Jamaican don't do measurement maybe because we we've been cooking for so long we just kind of know and then I'm gonna add some of the all-purpose as well. And hopefully this give it the taste that I'm looking for. Um, if you want, you can add salt, but most people don't. Well, when you reach certain age, you don't really wanna use too much salt. Unless it's gonna be um, them healthy salt like the pink salt and all of that stuff. Those salt are really healthy, I guess. All right, then we're gonna taste the water again to make sure we got enough um, seasoning in the pot. All right, yeah, that's a little bit, um, that's, that's better. So, this is, the pot is, the pot is seasoned. Let me put up these real quick. All right, so guys, this right here, I don't know if you, I think you can get this at some store over here. Um, Kroger's now starting to sell Jamaican stuff. But this is Grace coconut milk and it's the powder. So you can't cook this type of rice and peas without coconut milk. I, I believe you can. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but from ever since I see my dad cooking and my mom cooking they always use this or they use the coconut itself blend it up and then um, squeeze the juice out the trash and then throw the trash away and get the milk and then put it in the pot but most likely you need milk the coconut milk so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut this real quick And then I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Let me show you how it look. And this is for who don't know how the coconut powder look. That's how it look, powder. So I'm gonna get a little fork and I'm gonna add some water and um, mix it out and I'm, I'm gonna pour it inside the pot. So give me one second guys, I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, so I mixed the powder. I don't wanna tilt it too much because there's water in it. But I mixed the powder out. Like I said, use a fork, add some water and you just stir it inside the same plastic thing that it's in right now. And then all you do is you just pour it in the pot. You just pour it in the pot like this. 
and there you go and then you can check to see if anything is in there um, nothing is really in there so I'm gonna throw this away and then you just stir your pot again and no guys the coconut milk is not gonna take away from your seasoning that you just um, add it's still gonna be the same and then you just stir the pot and then put the lid on and let the coconut milk cook for a little bit and then I'm gonna add a little bit of butter um, I'm gonna wash a piece of scallion and put inside the pot and a little piece of thyme as well but before I do that I'm gonna let the coconut milk cook and then I'll be right back again okay okay guys I'm back um, so I add my scallion or as the American call it green onion where the oh here it's right here so this is the scallion right here aka green onion you don't really need a lot you just need like one piece washed off and you just squeeze it together and put it inside the pot um, the coconut milk I check the container and it don't really have a time on it which is good so what I'm gonna do now guys I already put some butter in it as well you can't really see the butter because it already dissolved but um, what I'm gonna do right now guys I'm gonna wash my rice and then I'm gonna put my rice inside the pot but um and we go from there but yeah guys give me one second i'm gonna wash my rice and then we'll be right back okay guys i'm back um i just washed my rice this is five cup of rice by the way i know it's gonna sound a lot but it's like a little beanie measuring cup um the rice is already washed um also i just add a little piece of thyme as well with the scallion in the pot so now we're gonna add now we're gonna add the rice inside the pot let me turn the stove down to medium and all you do is just like scrape it out inside the pot sideways so it don't splash up and burn you and we're gonna let this stay until the rice is cooked but guys you have to make sure you check the pot every so so often because you don't want the rice to burn and we want to make sure we get all the grains out this container okay and yes guys my hand is clean because i just washed the rice Want to make sure you get all the rice out of the container like that and now you're gonna stir the pot to make sure that the rice is even stir the pot to make sure the rice is even and it don't stick to the bottom of the pot at the same time and then i'm gonna show you a little trick a tri well a little trick so you see, I mean this kind of look okay to me. I think I have the right amount of water inside the pot. Let me see. Uh, no, it's a little bit too loose. So what we're gonna do right now guys, we're gonna get a spoon. We're gonna get a spoon and we're gonna take out some of the water well let me wash rinse this out with some water real quick so i don't know how to pronounce this word but what we're gonna do we're gonna take out some of the um 
the water that's over the rice right now because when I go like this with the fork it's a little bit too loose you want it to have a um I'm gonna show you guys I don't know how to explain it but I'm gonna show you we're gonna take out some of the water all you, have, all you need to do is just go like this with the spoon and take some out take some out you don't have to take out a lot but that's why I'm showing you guys step by step and I'm trying not to get any other peas out at the same time So now I'm gonna try to stir the pot and see if it's still loose. I'm gonna rest this right here. I'm gonna stir the pot again real quick. Alright, now it's not too loose, so that's good. No, it's not too loose and we're gonna just leave it to cook and do its thing we're gonna put a cover in the pot and we're just gonna leave it I'm gonna turn it down a little bit more I'm gonna so I don't know my stove set up different everybody's stove is different but I got mine on four right now and um we ju we're just gonna leave it and let it go, um, cook and then we're gonna come back and see how it looks okay so we'll be right back again okay guys I'm back um, I wasn't gonna show you guys this part of the video because I know a lot of Jamaican they don't like when you use um, plastic bag even though you wash it you wash the bag first before you put it over the rice but um, I wasn't gonna show you this but I said you know what forget I'm gonna show you guys anyway so what I did I rinsed the bag off with some water and um, I put the bag over the rice and then I had a little bit of water on top of the bag and this helped to steam the rice a little bit faster also I all, um, also see people be using the aluminum foil that you use to wrap like food when you taking it like to go from like a little party backyard party whatever whatever people be using the aluminum file over the rice um, but if you have a different method you guys can leave a comment down below and let me know but um, from ever since I always see my dad and my mom use this method put the scandal bag or the plastic bag over the rice to let it steam um, so I stirred the pot earlier and some of the grains are still a little bit hard so I know the rice is not fully cooked so I'm just showing you this method and then I'm gonna put back the pot cover over the pot and let it steam some more um, after it's finished steaming I'm gonna come back and then that should be the end of the video and that's how you make your rice and peas okay so i'll be right back but at the same time guys don't forget to like share comment and subscribe okay i'll be right back okay guys i'm back and this is the final part of the video i already tried some of the rice and it's finally done guys it's finally finally finished so that's how you make rice and peas and if you, I don't know if it's the camera, but if you can, um, you can see the rice have a little reddish color. So that's why you want to um, buy the dark red kidney beans to give it that dark color. I don't know if it's the camera, but that's the color you're looking for. I mean, you can use whatever piece, but you know why I feel like to use the dark red kidney beans. 